As a landlord, is it still practical to collect rent today? Whether you're in search of high rental properties or already own such a property, I'll be sharing with you how the recent increase in rental property tax could impact you and how do you actually navigate yourself around this change in market condition. Hello everyone, I'm Vivian and welcome back to my channel. Since 2021 to 2023, rentals have increased rapidly. If you are a landlord today, this is actually good news except that the government has announced an increase in property tax again from 1st January 2024. Here is the property tax payable before 31st December 2022, December 2023 and the latest revised tax in 2024. To explain further, let me use a 3 bedroom in Queens which is located at Stirling Road and minutes away from Queenstown MRT as reference. Supposingly, you purchased this property back in 2020 at $1.5 million as a rental property. I've collated the difference in property tax based on these 3 years with $5,500 rental and an annual value of $66,000. If you're renting out a 3 bedroom in Queens today, the difference in the property tax between 2023 and 2024 is $1,950. Although this might not seem like a big change, but if we were to lay out all the costs of owning a $1.5 million rental property, here would be the breakdown. 2023, supposing you are collecting a rental of $5,500 per month, less of interest of $3,200, maintenance fees, agent fees, and property tax, your total cash flow is $737. In 2024, assuming your rent and all costs remains the same, less of revised property tax, your total positive cash flow has now reduced to $555. Therefore, after this calculation, if you are a landlord today, it is understandable that you might consider raising your rental rates to pass on these increased costs to the tenants. But here is the concern. With a huge housing supply of around 44,000 new homes coming to the market, tenants have more options to choose from. In fact, if we look into the rental transactions for Queens and compare the transactions back in December and now, rentals have adjusted from an average of $6,000 originally to $5,200 to $5,500 now. This is a drop of almost $500. So how can you navigate around such market conditions as a landlord? Before I move on, could you please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel so that more people can benefit from my content? A good strategy to overcome this is to not solely rely on rental income but also focus on capital appreciation as well. Looking back into the transactions, between 2020 and now, Queen's not only increased in terms of rental but in price. Back then, a 1184 square feet unit transacted at $1.5 million. Today, a similar unit have crossed over 2.045 million. From 2.045 million to 1.5 million, this means that there is a profit of close to $550,000 should you decide to cash out today. In addition, based on the performance of the entire district for the past six quarters, it is indicating that the price of Queens have peaked as well. As compared to the option of renting out for the next 3 years at $5,500 with your positive cash flow at close to $20,000, this is a huge difference and would mean that we will need many more years in order to catch up to the profit which comes from selling right now. To sum it up, I have different advice depending on which stage you are at as an investor. First, if you are a buyer looking for a property to rent out, do make sure it not only ticks the boxes in terms of rental, but it must also fulfill the needs of capital appreciation as the cost of a rental property is very high now. Second, if you are owner having a same property which behaves similarly to Queen's, I advise you to swap your property so that you can repeat the same profit cycle as it is not easy to rely for rent as a good investment plan. Do reach out to me if you require professional advice on your property and I'll see you in my next video.